Hi everyone, Adam here. Time for a collection update. First off, we'll start with the Ozploitation, also known as Australian Horror. Uh, first off, Necrotronic. Uh, reviewed it for my Horror Down Under. I really enjoyed this. I thought this was a lot of fun. Uh, it's done by the people who made Wormwood, so if you like Wormwood, you should like this. Decent special effects and some good humour. Uh, I can recommend this. If you like, uh, it's a mix of genres like horror, action, sci-fi, a bit of everything, and it works pretty well. Uh, next up, next of kin. Uh, it's a 1980s horror, I think. I've heard mixed things about this. I, I've heard some people say it's an, an Australian horror classic. I, Heard some people say it's pretty average. I actually haven't seen it before, but I'm looking forward to checking this out. Uh, Red Billabong. I uh, heard about this from Al over at Super Ghidorah. It cost me seven dollars, uh, so I'm not sure what to expect. It does come with a. Make it up a little bit. A comic book as well. Uh, yeah, so. Seven dollars. <laughs> Can't complain. Uh, Visitors is another one I did on Horror Down Under. It was to me it was just okay. There's some in interesting visuals though. Uh, stars writer Mitchell and directed by Richard Franklin, who directed Road Games and Psycho 2. Next one up, uh, the school. I've heard good things about this from Andrew Ballina and. Uh, Jason over at Horrific Nightmares. So I'm looking forward to watching this one. Next up, I uh, picked up a few Cinema Cults. Uh, My Bloody Valentine, but after I bought it, I heard it's been cropped and it's not the uncut version, but, oh well, uh, I've never owned it before, so I guess it's better than nothing. Next up, The Ring. I know a lot of people don't like this. Uh, I don't mind it, actually. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't think any of the sequels were any good, though. Uh, this was a 2 for 20, if I remember correctly. Uh, Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. Maybe not his best film, but I do enjoy it. It's kind of it's a little goofy, but I still enjoy it, though. And April Fool's Day, which I haven't watched since the 80s, so um, it's going to be good to revisit that. Picked up the Ouija Double. Haven't seen either of these movies, so I'm not sure if they're good or bad or average. I think I've heard they're pretty average, but oh well, we'll see. Picked up Leatherface, the only Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie I haven't seen yet. So, yeah. Uh, the Suspiria remake, which a lot of people have said is terrible or not that good, so of course I want to see it. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, I am curious about it. Yeah. Okay. And... Godzilla 2, King of the Monsters 3D, which I did see at the cinemas, and I actually kind of liked it. Um, I'm not, I've, I admit I'm not well versed in Godzilla, but I thought this was a bit of fun. And if you know me, there's always going to be a Marvel movie in these pickups. And of course there's Spider-Man Far From Home 3D. Uh, I did enjoy this one, uh, it was a bit of fun. Uh, and funny too. Last but not least, uh, John Wick 3. This artwork was exclusive to JB Hi-Fi here. Uh, yeah, and I actually really enjoyed the John Wick movies. They've all been pretty, pretty impressive. So that's going to wrap it up for this collection update. I'm Adam. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.